What's going on everybody? My name is Kenny and man, look at that. My hair is really long. Hold on. Let me fix that real quick. Whew, look at that haircut. I don't have that long scraggly hair no more. I'm looking good. All right, let's get to it. All right. That was my old COVID hair. And if you can imagine, got kind of long. And I'm pretty sure 2020, for me at least, was a complete mess, probably for you too. Uh, but I didn't do a lot of things like I wanted to do, like start this YouTube channel. I was supposed to start it back in 2020 and um, that went all bad. Um, you could probably imagine why. Now, first of all, I just wanted to start the introduction off as, my name is Kenny, I'm a reptile enthusiast. And just like most reptile enthusiasts, it all started off when you, know, you were a kid. I remember my mom getting me my first gardener snake and it was awesome. It was a little snake, put it in a little tank or an aquarium or whatever back in the day. And uh, you would eat fish or, or whatever. And it was just cool to have like a little dinosaur in your house. And I always liked that. And she gave me more reptiles going on through my life because we couldn't, my mom didn't really want to have bigger animals, like a big dog or anything. We had a chihuahua, but it was, she didn't want a bigger dog in the house. Um, and she doesn't believe having the dog outside, so. And, just like I mentioned before, as a kid, I was a huge Jurassic Park fan. So owning reptiles or having reptiles was like the closest thing of me having a Jurassic Park. So growing up throughout my time as an adult, you know, I, I met some people who were in the military with me. Uh, I did serve in the Navy. Um, I'm now in the reserves. I don't really count that as full-time active duty or whatever, because most people who were active duty make fun of the reservists. You know, it just happens. Um, but I'm a reservist now. So when I met these two guys, they were in the military. They showed me that they were starting a reptile business. They were starting to breed um, some geckos. And I thought that was really, really cool. I didn't know that you could make a business or a hobby out of breeding geckos. But then, I mean, it never dawned on me, where do you get your reptiles to begin with? I just, I just thought the pet store spat them out somehow. I didn't understand how the whole thing worked. And it was kind of cool to learn that, that there's a whole community out there that actually breeds reptiles uh, for a living for, uh, for the most part. Now, from my perspective, I thought that was a really cool hobby. And after looking into it more and subscribing to a bunch of channels and watching them and stuff, that kind of fit with with me for the most part. I, I liked reptiles since I was a kid. I liked dinosaurs, right? The whole, the whole Jurassic Park shebang. Um, I thought that was a really cool thing to have. I didn't want to get like, I didn't first want to start a business like they did um, at first. But after talking about it, you know, going back and looking at my childhood, when I was a kid, so going back into my history back when I was a kid, I remember in third grade, my third grade teacher had us do an assignment of what did we wanted to be when we grew up. And I remember uh, specifically that I wanted to be a, a marine biologist or own a zoo. And I used to love animals when I was a kid. My favorite uh, animal of all time was a shark, the great white shark, and the wolf, and I think a grizzly bear. Those are my three all time favorite animals when I was a kid, you know, growing up, I mean, I, I've kind of, even then, and even when growing up, um, we have a zoo near us, right? And I even thought about volunteering there uh, for the military to get, you know, some points for the military. And I wanted to volunteer there and stuff. And I think it's a really cool thing to, to be part of that. Um, a lot of zoos help re, uh, rehabilitate animals who are hurt or can't no, no longer go back into the wild. And I think it's, it's really important. So the whole purpose of this YouTube channel is to basically walk myself and guide myself and, and make a, a vlog and a journey of, of what I'm going to do in the future. So as of right now, I have read ball pythons um, in the past. I just never recorded it really because I never really wanted to do a YouTube channel. But after looking at, after looking some channels up and having discussion with some friends, I decided they kind of motivated me to make a channel, to start a channel, start my journey, and this is what I'm doing. And I really, really, really hope you guys can actually, you know, subscribe and follow me along on my journey. And again, the whole purpose of this channel was, you know, step one, I wanted to make a room full of just reptiles, right? Different reptiles, mostly, mostly ball pythons because that's what I'm in the hobby or business as in, I guess you could say. Um, but a room full of animals, you know, different animals that I could have. The next step for me in my dream would be to own a store. There's a store, there's a mini store like Brian Barczyk 
or there's a store even I think in Oceanside, California, where they actually have a store where you walk in and you can buy the reptiles that they have there for sale, plus you know a bunch of equipment and other things you need, and they also breed ball pythons in the back. And I think that was really cool. And that's what I've wanted to do is own my own store where I can have people come in, check out animals, look even if they don't buy them, just look at them. Like you know, it's it's really cool to be part of that. And to tie that off with, I also wanted to do a thing where maybe we could do uh, an educational, I don't know, maybe not a, not really a show, but like being able to go out with kids, being able to go out with kids and like explain to them um, that reptiles aren't really scary. Snakes, you shouldn't be scared of snakes for the most part. Start an educational show or, or even like a little thing where you go to schools or whatever and show kids that you shouldn't be scared of animals. And that's also what I wanted to do with Brian Barchuk. I like that whole idea of having a mini reptile zoo and a big building. And I think that's really, really awesome. That, that's my eventual goal is to have something like Brian Barchuk where I could have people come in, check out different animals, look at them, and it'd be cool. Even if it was for free, I don't care. Just, just to be able to show kids that you shouldn't be scared of animals. That's the goal that I have in mind that I want to achieve. And there's a bunch of other goals that I want to uh, have too. Not only just that, but like doing other events uh, for different animals. And I think the whole thing will be really cool. I wanted to express my journey on this YouTube channel. So maybe you could follow along. This YouTube channel right now will consist of ball pythons because that's all I really have. And just other, you know, uh, animal information. Other thing though, is that I, I might do other videos where we do vlog styles of going to zoos or maybe national parks and looking at the forest and stuff like that. Um, I'm not really sure yet, but if you're interested in any of those things, I would really appreciate it if you follow me along on my journey. If you can, please subscribe. And that would mean the world to me. You don't have to if you don't want to, then that's completely fine. You know, I, I get that, you know, I might not be the most entertaining person right now off of this first interaction and I, I get it, but I'm gonna start um, recording everything and along my journey and, and see how this whole thing goes for me. That's kind of all I had to say. This is my first YouTube video and I appreciate you for sticking through this long. If you've ever gotten this long, uh, I really appreciate it. So let's see what the rest of the year has for us. Thank you.